Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to start a brand new design to code project together where we start from scratch and design and code a functioning website to the final product. So what we're going to be doing today is going over everything and then creating a wireframe. So here I have Bear open, which is my note taking app, and we're going to be creating a surf website. So today we're going to be doing the wireframe only. So I'm going to show you guys my original sketch. Uh, this took me about a minute or so to do real rough, just using boxes for my images and icons and some squiggly lines for some text. So the landing page is going to tell a little bit about our service. It's going to allow you to book here with this button. This is an icon and some text in the button. And then the second section is going to give a little bit more detail about how long the tour is, how many people can go and what the location is. Then we're going to give some pictures and then we're going to follow that up with a little bit about the guide themselves. That way you feel more comfortable on the tour. All right, so let's go ahead and get over to Adobe XD and start our wireframe. Here in Adobe XD, I just have a normal artboard open for web design. It's 1920 by 1080. And we're just gonna start by creating the hero section. So what we're gonna do first is I'm just gonna drag out a rectangle. That's gonna be the full width of our current artboard. And I'm gonna lock it, so Command L. Next thing I'm gonna do is select the title of the artboard and we'll just call this wireframe. And with that selected, I'm also going to turn on my grid layout. We're going to use the standard 12 column layout with all the default settings Adobe XD provides for us. So the first thing we need to do is our navigation. And I'm going to have a just a text logo here in the corner with some links here on the side. So let's first start with our logo. We'll just call this surf dot. Okay, and this is going to be in Proxima Nova, which is gonna be our sans serif font. And we'll put that at 30 size font. And we will change this to bold. I'm gonna put this 30 pixels from the top of the browser. And then we're gonna start with our navigation here on the side. So let's just put in some junk text for the time being. just so we can select our font. I'm gonna go with 16 and let's go normal. Align this to the right. I'm gonna make sure this is center aligned with the text over here and make sure it's on this last column. All right, so now I'm actually gonna put in my text. So the first one is gonna be attractions. Okay, so that's our navigation. And then we're gonna have an image here in the background and I might change that to a video later, but we'll do that while we're coding. So for now, I'm just going to drag in a black and white image. So I'm gonna unlock this rectangle, Command L. And if you've downloaded the project files, the link will be down in the description. You'll have all access to all the images I use. I get them from unsplash.com. That's where I get most of my images that I use in my videos because they're free and everyone can get them. But I will have all of them in a package for you in the description. So I'm just gonna drag in the black and white version and we're just going to make sure this is at the back. So I'm gonna hit Command, Shift, left square bracket key. And then I'm going to turn the opacity way down so we can actually see our font for now. So let's put this down to 13% or so, just so we know there's gonna be an image here. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and start to build our assets. So I'm gonna select our logo and under character styles, I'm just gonna click on that. And then let's name this logo text. Next up, this is going to be our, mm, let's go with the uh, nav, nav text. So now we need our heading text. So I'm gonna relock my background so I can't drag it around. And let's just type out surf the best. And for the font, we're gonna go with a serif font. So let's go with I don't know how to pronounce that. Did it? Did I? And let's bump that up to 70. Then we're gonna need to bold that. And then I'll save that as my H1 text. 
So I'm going to put this at the center of the page. So here's the center line and we're right above that. And then we're on the first column here. Below that, we're going to need some body text. So I'm just going to copy this up here and drag this down and we'll change this to 20. And then we can add that to our character styles. Body text. And we'll put that right below, just touching the bottom of that text. And then I'm gonna line that to the left. Copy some text over and just paste it in. You can use lorem ipsum here. I just had something typed out, so I'll just use that. And then we're gonna make this a text area and two lines. So we'll drag to this column. That looks pretty good. Now we need a button, and that's gonna be for booking or scheduling. So we'll just drag a rectangle out. And let's do 60 on the height and then 200 on the width. I'm gonna remove the border and then apply a shadow for now. This is gonna go 32 pixels below the bottom of that text. Inside of here, we're gonna have schedule. And I'm also gonna put an icon in here, so I'm just gonna grab this real quick. I'll have this in the assets panel over here in the symbols section already for you. So we'll just paste that in. And let's just put this eight pixels from beside that and then group them. Command G and then select both of them and then we will align it centered up like so. So let's go ahead and make this black. And since we'll probably use black again, let's just go ahead and add that to our colors. So the final thing that I want to include here is a scroll down icon of some kind. And I'm just going to create it in XD itself. And I want this because this is going to be full screen no matter what size the browser is at. So it's going to be full viewport width and viewport height. So we're going to make sure that's there for people who don't just naturally scroll down to see if there's more content. So we'll just put that here in the bottom. I'm just going to type out scroll. This is in Proxima Nova. It's all caps. I'm going to drop this down to 16. Then I'm going to rotate it 270 degrees. And that'll put it like that. I'm just going to line that to the side of this column. Then I'm going to grab the line tool and just make a small line. Let's make it three size and then we'll round the cap. And I'm going to center this together and let's put about 12 spacing. I'm going to grab both of them and group them. And then I'm going to take that group and put it on the side of my column. Let's go ahead and make this black too. So far, so good. So let's go ahead and drag down the bottom of our artboard and give us some more room to work with. We're going to need an image to go here. So I'm just going to grab my rectangle tool and just drag one out. And let's put this about 100 spacing from the bottom of this. Let's see, what is on the side? We have 140 on the side. Let's do 80 on the top. Perfect. Okay, and then we will have an H2 text. So I'm gonna grab the H1 and hold Alt and drag down. And we'll change this to 50 size font. And it's still gonna be bold. But then I'm gonna add that to my character style and just call it H2 text. So I'm gonna put a column gap in between this. And I'm gonna align this to the top of our image. And go down about 120. And then here, we'll change this to chill and surf all day. We'll line it to the left first. Now let's also change this to a text area. And let's drag down a line. And we'll just say surf and then all day. I'm going to grab this text here and just paste it down here. Let's 
Let's put 12 spacing in between that. And then I'm just gonna drag this down a bit and paste in some lore mipsum. Once we have that, we'll just make sure this matches the bottom. So this section is coming along nicely. I'm gonna need some icons now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those. Just paste those in. I'm gonna get these two out of the way. And we'll put this 32 below our paragraph. And we'll put some text beside it. We'll say 10 hours is how long this lasts. So that's pretty much all day. And let's set that to our body text. And let's also change it to black. Eight spacing. And then we'll duplicate that. And then we'll drag this other icon in. We'll do 32 spacing on this. And then we'll put this eight. Let's change this one to two to 12 people. And then we'll copy that text again. Drag this last icon in, do 32 spacing, and then eight next to the text. So I have no idea actually where this is at. Ervica, Ervica. You can Google that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter. And for now, I'm just gonna drag in that black and white image that we used in the hero section again here, and then remove the border. Let's actually make that longer. Remove my grid. Take a look at what we have. It's looking pretty good. So we need to fix the spacing here a little bit. Let's just see how that looks. Not bad. Might change that later, but for now, I think I'm gonna leave that 50-50. So the next thing we need is a picture section. That's just gonna be a simple H2, so we'll just grab this text. And we'll change this to picture. We can center that up, change it to a point text, make sure it's centered to our browser. And we'll add about 220 spacing from the bottom of this image. So we have plenty of room. I'm gonna hold shift and drag out a square two columns wide. Then I'm gonna select repeat grid. And I'm just gonna drag that all the way over to here. And let's make sure this goes the full thing there. And then we'll just scale that in. And we'll drag down another row. And make sure we have 16 spacing to match. I'm just gonna drag in that same image again. And let's also remove the border of these. We'll put this 32 pixels below pictures. And then lastly, we need a line to go down here at the bottom. Change that to the three size. And round the cap. Seventy spacing looks okay. That's just kind of a little line separator. And then we will drag the artboard down. I'm just gonna copy this whole section up here and drag it down. 220 spacing from the bottom of that line to the top of the image. Just like that. And now we're gonna flip these around. So that is the perfect opposite of this up here. For this one, we're just gonna delete that, all the icons. I'm gonna leave this text here and I'm gonna change this to learn more. I'm also gonna change that to medium and then up here at the top, I'm gonna change this schedule to medium as well. Just so it pops a little bit more. So we need an icon to go with this. So I'll just go ahead and grab that. Paste that in. And we'll do eight spacing. Make sure that's centered together. 
Check our spacing. Looks good. Last thing we need is a footer. So we're gonna have three icons for that. So drag this down a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste those in. I already have them grouped together. And make sure that's centered to the artboard. And 220 spacing from the bottom of the picture to the top of the icon. And below that, we'll have one line of PTEX. I'm just gonna grab this. And I'm just gonna remove everything but like a few words. That'll work. And change that to a point text. And let's make sure that is 16. Center line that and then center it up to the artboard. And then we'll put that 32 below our icons. And then we'll paste in a bit of copy text. So there's our copyright information. We'll adjust the bottom of this to about there. We can turn off our grid and we should have something that looks pretty good. Grab all my headings real quick. Change those to black. Yeah, I like that. So I think that is it for our wireframe. Consider giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more design and code related content. Make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. All of my social media is at Kaler Edwards if you want to follow me. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.